Good afternoon, good people. Mark Holmes here, of course, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. Cowboy fans, we know we're not having a great day. It is Walk of Shame Monday for our Dallas Cowboys, where we have literally been embarrassed you know last year we did not lose a game at home until the playoffs and since that time we have lost two more additional ones and them not to even really be close and as i look at the numbers it's pathetic you know i keep hearing everybody talking you know, Jerry Jones in denial about, you know, we just got things we got to fix and this, that, and the other one. He's mainly to blame him and Stephen Jones and their, you know, arrogance of thinking that, you know, we can just pick the right bargain basement guy and they're going to be great, especially when we pick him at the end of training camp, that they're going to come in and do this, that, that we can just pay C.D. Lamb more money and, you know, we're going to go ahead and get, you know, he's going to be like two wide receivers in one and everything's going to be hunky dory. And, you know, Dak, we'll go ahead and pay him, but, but he's going to have to do more with less. They literally tell you exactly. We, we don't listen. We don't listen. We have the players that are speaking out. Jordan Lewis. At the end of the day, this shit is about stopping people. We got to be credible and effing accountable on every single play. That's 60 minutes of football. It doesn't matter who we play, who got to go out there and be detailed in the plays. No matter who we play in this NFL, if we're not doing that shit, anybody can beat us. And no truer words have been spoken. Anybody can beat you at this moment, which is why it's amazing to me that the Cowboys right now are a five-point favorite over the New York Giants. And, oh, God, you, you know it's bad when as bad as Daniel Jones has been and things in the Giants and how dysfunctional they are and how they're looking at Saquon Barkley looking rejuvenated and, and literally looking like ass, that I can actually get trolled. By Cop Pizzle. That's how low we are. I'm sitting here looking at the numbers, and this is goes back to Jerry Jones. Miscalculations. They keep miscalculating over and over and over and over again. When they finally decide to bring in a player, it's always a few years too late. Derrick Henry wanted to come here. It would have been a good time. Been a good time to have brought him in. Here's, look at these numbers here, guys. This is bad. I don't know if you, let me, let me make it a little bit bigger for you. These numbers are horrendous as far as. Okay. There we go. Yeah, we yeah, hide my face. Please hide my face. Right now, team statistics wise, the Dallas Cowboys are number one in attempts at passing the football. Okay? Numero uno. Okay. They are number one in yards passing. Oh, that sounds great. We're eighth in T D passes. Okay. That would be nice if we had, you know, a few more. And we're 14th in interceptions. So at least the turnovers haven't been awful. But let's get to the running. Attempts. Here's the problem. Of running the football, we have 62 attempts. To our opponents, 103. We're 30th in attempts. Okay. In yardage, which they'll go probably... Hand in hand, because if you don't run the ball, you're not going to get many yards. 
And if you do run the ball a lot, you will get a lot of yards. But we have 221 yards, which ranks us 29th in running the football. Yards per attempt, God. 3.6 yards for every time we try and run the football, which is 29th. 29th yard average. And our defense is dead last. Dead. Dead effing last the worst the worst in the NFL and bro you can blame Dak Prescott all you freaking want okay well Mike says CD too but if you cannot run the ball better than 30th your quarterback it, 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 I'm sorry. There is absolutely positively nothing or no chance in hell that you're going to be able to do anything. That's an abomination for the Dallas Cowboys to be 32nd in stopping the run and literally 29th in running the football. Sorry, guys. This is just pathetic. As long as we are continuing to play like that, there's no chance in hell of being a decent team. There's no chance. Um, And this goes back to Jerry Jones' philosophy of, hey, we're going to do more with less. You got C.D. Lamb out there who's getting flustered because he's getting double covered and out of shape and getting all the attention because there's not a, another viable weapon on the other side to slow down everybody else. You got a quarterback who, who is running for his life right now because the offensive line is young. And... You can't run the ball to try and keep a defense, you know, balanced against you. This is a recipe for disaster. And they don't have much time between now and Thursday to try and right the ship, but they've got to be able to run the football, and they've got to somehow figure out ways to stop the run. It's pretty much, you know, it's not rocket science. It's that simple. All right, good people. We'll be live streaming tonight, the Commander's Game. So I'll see you guys there. Peace out.